All right, we are live. If you can hear me, Let me check the stream. Check, check, check. Everything sounds good. Promise, going live here in just a second. So we are Duster and we have this guy following us now. We gotta take him to the castle, so let's do that. tracks here. What happened here? Got full health. Let's go see what's up. Tracks. Oh, drawbridge is still open.
strange vehicle. Looks just like a tank. Alright, we beat the clay man. Oh no. I knew that was too easy. Hey, no, he's gone. And it worked out. Fight all these guys. That wasn't so bad. Pork chips. Are they eating pork chips and they're pigmen? Or did they just turn into pork chips? Pretty sure we got in the center door here. Thank you. 
And we did. Try to run. That didn't work out. Top floor, here we go. See some of those pork chips. Got a shit ton of pork chips. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, these ghosts are all scared. Poor guys. I'm so stuck in here. Really, what am I? What am I to do? Oh. Jeez. Thank you. 
Level up again. Been there. Been out there. So let's go this way, I guess. So I thought it was around here we find the shiny thing he was looking at. Had to review the stream last time and see. I'd 
think I've got an idea what we need. Gotta be something up here where we were. Oh, yeah, that's what we weren't doing. The freaking rope snake. Thank you. 
do that. center I'm headed. <clears throat> yeah, I'll save here so I have to go through all those pigment again.
<laughs> hmm, the real treasure. work for it. I'm just going to leave it on this screen for a little while. Actually, I think I'm going to take a cigarette break. I'm going to leave you guys with this. Uh, I will be back here in about five minutes. Uh, just uh, enjoy was twerking.
I think you guys had a nap. Huh? Y'all like it, don't play. Alright, let's see what happens. Shit or none. Probably finish chapter two today. All this cussing. Excuse the language. Sorry, guys. It's getting pretty out of hand.
a raggedy end doll. I think we're dealing with Annabelle in here. All right. Annabelle joined our party. Good name, Annabelle. West doing in this fight. Let's just throw his thunder bombs, I guess. Trust is present. Hey. Let's see if we can heal up some. We got some pork chips. Everybody hungry? Nice and full. What you just like appeared? Right. 
level 20. Barrel man. Right, raggedy and level up. Like a ghastly had a baby with Meta Knight. We're almost to the end here. Looks like a sign. All right, barrel man, out the way. What do we have here? Brooms ahead. Uh oh. Gonna try to avoid everything.
Those are becoming easy. Save point. All right, how's our house looking? So we're looking good. The void beans. Magic tart. Does, do I have fiance I need? No. Just that. He's so mad at me. Uh-oh. Mm. 
That doesn't look good. Little piles of skulls. So snake. the bowels. I think it's the end of chapter two. Might just end the stream here for a good stopping point.
gonna go find Duster. Idiot. And what is this one? Hey, Flint. Duster. The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in an almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced its plan to <coughs> alter er, the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people. It seems as if a grand scheme of some sort is hidden beyond the actions of the suspicious peddler who has recently arrived. However, not everyone is content to sit quietly by as the enemy continues its attack from every angle. Flint, whose family bonds were torn to shreds, Wes, and his son Duster, the Thieves of Justice, Princess Kumatora, and the mysterious girl who suddenly appeared. Destiny is bringing together those who would use the power for good and what has become of Lucas, the Crybaby. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Chapter two and No, no, don't take it, monkey. Chapter 3, The Suspicious Peddler. Thank <laughs> you. 
Salsa. Pokiska. That was pretty messed up, man. is evil. All right, we're gonna save here and uh, might play a little more. Might just say this is a good stopping point. But either way, we might stream something else. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Let's just see what what comes to this real quick. Salsa is very weak. It's like some freaking pace.
Dung beetle. Yeah. Dung beetles were really funny in the nineties for some reason. I mean, they're dung beetles, they roll around poop balls. It's just timeless. I just remember making lots of jokes about that in the nineties and other people. As well. Oh, dung beetles are a hoot. Cause they're all poop balls. Leveling up so fast because I'm so low level. Here we go back down. What is this? No idea what any of that meant. What the hell is this? I'm gonna be able to just dipped. So, my thoughts so far on this game is I'm in chapter 3 of 8 now. Playing as a monkey fighting dung beetles. And I've played Ness's character for no more than like five minutes like I walked out of the house 
knocked over a Drago, and then it's been out of my hands ever since. Like, been Flint, been Duster, been Old Man. Now we're a freaking monkey that's captured. I don't know. Like, when do I get to be Ness? It's gonna be like chapter 8, and you get to be Ness for like 5 more minutes. some nut bread before this guy has me to die out here. Bug spray. This looks interesting. Too. I love finding those little cones in the ground. This guy is gonna kill me. Thank <laughs> you. 
At least we're closer now. Oh. 
Yeah, grind salsa up more. Yeah, more bombs and stuff. We give them bombs. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that's a pretty boring stream. Just gonna grind. Present and done.
the gate is tough. One more time. Try again. And I say one more time, but it means a few. guard the whole time and see if it's like some more guys and get some of that bread.
Hey, Adam Thompson's watching. Haven't checked in a while if anyone was on here. He's just being quiet, uh, chilling, grinding it out, trying to get through Mother 3, Chapter 3. monkey right now. Play a lot of different characters in this game, it's weird. Gonna play till we die, and then fight that wolf again. It looks like Texas. Alright, maybe we can do a sneak up on him? No. No, I guess not. The answer is that. So. Got nut bread. Need bombs. Bunch of dying and nut breads. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do the guard tactic. Oh, I didn't mean to attack. Dang it. Yeah, the cactus head back too. Yeah, I'm dead. Accidentally attacking. Oh, wait. Gave it a good time. Let's see. That bread. That bread.
Oh, grand. Getting closer, we made a lot of mistakes this round. Maybe next time. Gotta make some more nut breads and try to level up and try not to attack. It's a pretty dope game. I think, uh, I've never played this one all the way. Like, I've just played the first chapter. Uh, I have played all the way through Earthbound for Super Nintendo. And I played through some of the fan translated ROM of the first one. I think I got pretty far in that first one, but I don't know if I ever completed it. It was on like a hacked PSP though. This is finally I got an actual Game Boy Advance cartridge of this that is fan translated. It's like a unofficial, but at least it's on a Game Boy Advance. Because uh, I didn't want to figure out hooking up a modded PSP with an exploded battery to the TV or to the computer. Uh, it seemed too hard to control. It's much easier. Uh, let's see. Let's scratch this guy. I did like the consistency of the f first one, where you're mainly uh, you're mainly Ness. Like I haven't got to play Lucas. A fun game. I think I'm just gonna like collect a bunch of nut bread. try to guard this time and not actually try to fight and then just use that brain once I am like as a last resort. Wait, I had some bombs earlier but I wasted them. Try to save those guys. Ancient banana. Got like, can't do it that outside of it. Use it in battle. Okay, so that's all it is for. Okay.
how many now, Bruce? We just have one. Hmm. Maybe we'll just try and keep just trying them again. I don't know. It'll be a lucky one. I think one of the, if you're listening, uh, one of the next streams I've devised a plan to do is to play Zelda Four Swords Adventure for GameCube with at least one other GameCube. I'm, I don't even know if it'll work, but I'm going to try it out probably Friday. Uh, but I want to try to hook up like the Wii with the Four Swords Adventure in it, playing that. So using that as a GameCube, and then hook up the GameCube with the Game Boy Advance player with the Game Boy Advance link cable from the Game Boy Advance player going into the Wii to use as the Game Boy Advance controller hooked up to another TV. So then on the stream you'll have like the Game Boy camera box with my video of me, and then you'll have like another box with my Game Boy Advance screen which is actually just the GameCube and then the Wii will be like the main background and I was like if I get another GameCube you have like two people or even like have four GameCubes with Game Boy Advance players hooked up to one GameCube playing uh, Zelda Four Swords Adventure so you need five GameCubes but that seems a little bit much, but I like how convoluted it is. I want to try it, but I only have one GameCube and one Wii, so I thought my brother had a GameCube. Just had to keep my eye out for GameCubes, but really, I mean, just as long as I can do it with single player, that'd be cool so you can see the Game Boy Advance screen when you go into the buildings and stuff. That game is really dope. Hard to explain, but I think you got what I'm saying. Five game cu four game cubes with Game Boy Advance players connected to one game cube with Four Swords Adventure with four TVs, you know, like four capture cards with loops back to the individual TVs. Like, I'm not gonna go that extreme, but it could be pretty wild. The setups. I was probably going to test that later with the Wii after I'm done here. I'm just like, not even paying attention, just grinding at this point. But, once I'm done here, I might try that later tonight just really quickly to see if it even works. I might stream a test of that. But just with one. <laughs> so that's all we got. like coming up with convoluted setups for the old school stuff. I had like a VCR with uh 
Also, I thought it would be funny to stream like this with the square in the corner, just home videos uh, with commentary, like live from a VCR. But uh, yeah, no, I did that skiing one the earlier video. That was like an Atari hooked up with coaxial cable to a VCR with the AV out to the computers, like to an adapter to HDMI to the computer. That was kind of ridiculous. It looked like crap. But I like trying to keep the retro stuff in the new age. The harder to set up, the better. camera I want to do a thing where it's like uh, it's like keep it a game related camera all the time so we got a Game Boy camera I have a PSI somewhere uh, that I've used once for this purpose but I was also thinking I could have with second capture card I ordered just to have as backup, but I think with that I was I could hook up if I could do two at once into OBS I'll do that and then have the switch hooked up running that Mario Kart circuit li live home circuit thing. So have the Mario Kart camera from the Mario Kart toy like pointed at me as the camera keep it game related which I probably will do if I end up having to use a Super Nintendo for it again um, we are not ready for this but what are we how many nut breads have we got now three Uh, I'll just let them kill us, and then we'll come back with our three new breads. Yeah. I did <coughs> a stream just playing the game, like chasing cats around and stuff. Uh, but then I was like, oh, I could just like make this a small part of the stream and use the camera part of it. Like, all, all my to-get lists eventually one day is just uh, probably not anytime soon. There's no rush. Probably no reason to ever do this. But get a DS with capture card so then could do uh, DS games. But it takes like modding, and I don't want to mess with any of mine. But if I could buy one, it's already modded with the capture card. It would be ideal. And why did I just start off already attacking him? It's already wrong. I 
Just a slice of that bread and start blocking. Of course you do. I'm doing something wrong. There's probably something I can get somewhere else. But I'm not trying to read the walkthrough all the way through this game. Ah, looks we can hit everything now. Let's go see if we can come back up here. Oh, you just need to bring him down to this guy. Is that really? That's. Seems like what we gotta do. Just five experience points. Let's unload all over done. Ideal setup though would be like four, four flat screens, four game cube, five game cubes, four Game Boy Advance players on the game cubes, all hooked into one game cube. Each has their own s five TV screens, one big one surrounded by four smaller ones, and then uh, that, all that running into a feed on OBS with all four screens and the big screen um, and like the camera would be pretty sick but it sounds like way more work than it is work um, like clearly you know traffic to warrant buying f five game cubes. But a boy can dream. Alright, so loaded him up. Kind of old fashioned grinding, I just don't. Don't know what to do. No, I didn't use my ancient banana.
I really want this game to come out officially in some capacity, like a Switch, like, Mother Collection, with all of them translated officially would be dope. Still holding out on that dream. It's been rumored forever, but I think it why why not? I accidentally dropped in the oasis. Let's drink some of this water with dung in it. Alright, let's go fight him. Probably gonna end this if we lose too many more times. Did it say? <laughs> it smells kind of done like. I'm gonna at least they acknowledge continuity.
What am I doing wrong? Let's see if there's any advice. do anything out of the ordinary like what it says to do it's just taking a long time on this one it's a week Thank you. 
Didn't experience now. Seventy three to level ten. I feel like <coughs> he's not worth much fighting at all anyway. The level shouldn't matter. It's my HP. I've noticed some of the background music in this game sounds like Nickelodeon shows. Like it has like one that kind of sounds like the intro to like, what was it? Legend of the Hidden Temple, and then they have one that sounds like the background or intro to, uh, like, Are You Afraid of the Dark, kind of? But mainly the Legend of the Hidden Temple one. So I'll point out once I hear it. This one. Are you just like ready for Kurt Fogg to come out and welcome you to the legends of the Hidden Temple at the beginning of that song? Tell us about the legend of Pecos Bill's treasure. Thank 
kind of has that like do, do, do. like this and then he like swings in on the vine welcome the legends of the hidden temple let's get to some kids crossing the river on a roof Which I, I believe Legends is all on Paramount now, so. And YouTube, but. Cactus headbutt. Cactus headbutt is no joke. Yeah. Like, if you don't guard every single time, you're just gonna get killed as a monkey. Like, there's gotta be something. Another angle to come at it from, but... Yeah, right? So that wasn't just me, like, hearing that. Like, this is... Like, they sampled Legends of the Hidden Temple. Or one of them took it from, I don't know, what came first. Probably Legends. But, again, like, <clears throat> Earthbound. Old Mac. You could start by going to the Cave of Size. Yeah, it's very similar, I think. But, oh yeah, that's why, like, uh, Earthbound, you know, they have so much troubles, like, getting it re-released or whatever, when they put it out on, finally on, like, the Wii U and 3DS, uh, and then the SNES Mini is on there, but, uh, I heard a lot of it was, like, licensing issues and copyright with because they sampled like a Beach Boys song or melody or something in Earthbound. And that's what a lot of the holdup was. I would imagine this not being released because like Paramount's like, hey, you, you're using the Legends of the Hidden Temple intro. We talked about this, guys. Like, you can't use that in the game. And they don't feel like changing it. There's other little themes in here I've heard that sound similar to other things. But.
Hey. So, I'm gonna go try again. Level up, try again. Level up, try again. I didn't have this cactus on his head. No. There we go, finally, Jesus. Only took like 30 tries. Thanks for sticking in there, man. That was, that was rough. I know not a lot of people can watch a guy beat a bunch of dung beetles and collect dung and sell it for experience points to beat a wolf with a cactus on his head. 
like just explaining this game is so good and reading it anything about it it's like oh yeah so you want to go not the beef jerky ghost go past to the other ghost that doesn't have beef jerky and it's just really silly All of that just to get kicked in there. Oh, maybe he's gonna make this like a crazy. crazy animal. Hmm. What do we got in here? Trash is going out. Just gotta double check. Should I just go outside? Is that something else? Yeah, okay. Now we'll go back in. It looks like a device or something. Alright. It starts off so sad, like the opening, all of the Flint storyline is just like, whoa, this is a game for children? I don't think so. Your wife died, your kid ran away. You beat up everyone and go to jail and break out of jail. Underground map. See what we were looking at. Oh, okay. Pretty straightforward there. Cockroaches. I hate violent roaches. Jeez. I really want to, s I think, I assume it will save. There we go. I was like, I need a save frog. We got the rejuvenation machine. Almost 11 hours into this game, we're only on chapter 3. Been doing a lot of dicking around and grinding and stuff, so. It says you can beat this in 24 hours, but I don't know if that's the truth. Let's see what we end up at. Good measure, save with full health.
Oh shit. What? <laughs> Just get to drive the pork bean around? This is awesome. Fuck all you guys. I got a pork bean. That is awesome. There might be some places I should explore outside of Port Bean, but I'm gonna go this way and see what's this way. Doesn't look like any importance. That's just, that's too cool. Hmm, can we get those guys? Oh, I should have probably been wearing the flea charm. That would have helped. Yeah. All of that. That's why that guy was so hard. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if we can bust in there with the pork bean. Please refrain from throwing running bombs. That's what I bet. That's what their advice and throw a running bomb.
Mosquito time. It's a mosquito turn. All right, cemetery at night, my favorite. I don't want to face zombies right now. Hopefully, those are still gone. It's all tied together now. I remember that part where we got bumped into and saw the monkey walking away when we were duster. <clears throat> they tie it together very nicely. Duster didn't take it, we did. <laughs> All right. He forgets we live in a commune here. Tasmania. <laughs> I didn't see what he said, did he? I assume down. That's a first thing I'd ask any monkey. Such a weird storyline.
Uh, he's going to break out, get that money. And we about to run away because we're like an abused monkey with some electric collar on. Let's get out of here. Slightly bad breath. Looks kind of like a bomb. Yeah, they're talking about me. So many flashbacks and forwards and I don't know why they didn't release this here. Like this is the best Game Boy Advance game I've ever played. That's including Spider Man too.
Don't fall for it, guys. It's capitalism. <laughs> Today's your lucky day. I get to abuse my monkey in front of me. I just want to see it really is that easy to be happy. My name is Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff somehow makes me happy. I get that. Plus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too.
Let's see first. <clears throat> All right, so to the cemetery we go. Got a happy box. I don't want to know what's in here. Hopefully the map sends it around. You can tell me where these guys are. Got one of the happy boxes delivered. Cool. Someone's up there. This beat too? What is this beat? This sounds like something. Soak that beat in, it sounds like something.
just kind of start me off around Jesus. We could do the happy boxes again. Don't have to redo that one. So Isaac must live down there somewhere. Oh, cancel the heavy boxes. Sweet. Not trying to do all those boxes. Now we gotta go to the castle.
You say work for us now. Can't go through there. Do we have to get another rope still? Good old hot springs. Let's go see where the basement is. Cool, that would guide the way. To move in and leave, but is there a difference? Ah, there. <laughs> that one's always weird to me. He let, he let out a sweet fragrance. So you gotta twerk. Gotta do the, gotta do the twerk dance. <clears throat> Well, 
Let's try right there. So it's like, try down one more time. So I guess it's a little left. And then spend too much more time on that without looking it up. Okay, you gotta learn them first. There we go. That's all. Like, I don't like looking up guides or walkthroughs, like, step by step, but if I get hung up, I'll, I'll resort to that, just so I don't waste time. These guys are fucking creepy. Especially if you sneak up on them from behind and see their butt. Yeesh. Okay, so I think we know all of the dance now. So now let's do the chat.
That's it. There we go. We did the right dance. Should have known. Oh. Just because I'm OCD, I got I always gotta do it twice. Make sure I don't want to lose saves. Big bros even scary. Love these backgrounds during the fighting. <clears throat> I 
That seems good. Hey, there they go. Yeah, I'm blaming it on me, I'm sure. Yeah, see from behind, they got the weird butt, and they're just their whole body. I don't know what these guys, big bro, what is this even supposed to be? This is like a wad of, like, gum, but I'm not even sure. And their face isn't even any better. Oh, no. it's just disgusting. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, don't ever feel obligated to watch any of these. I just, I usually no one's in here, but I still do them because I like doing them. Uh, I do these streams more for myself, but hoping that there's some people, cool people out there that want to see it too. But <laughs> I'm not trying to be famous or nothing. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in today. It's first real, f real viewer that has watched for a length of time outside of my grandpa popping in for like two seconds to be like yeah Nathan's still alive but uh I'm glad I'm glad you like it I got a lot of good ideas coming up other other streams we're gonna do some rampage in the next couple of days the old ones the 90s one the new ish one from GameCube era uh talking about that crazy setup I might try tomorrow or the next day i'm off for a week so there's going to be streams out the ass coming up friday to thursday we'll be doing streams every day try to do it all day just whatever got any ideas want to see some stuff i can show off some stuff but mainly uh definitely gonna check out that zelda setup i just want to see if that's even possible to hook up a GameCube to a Wii to play that game. It's going to be cool though, but thanks for chilling. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. It's always always nice to have good people in here. But I'm about to end this anyways once I get to a save point here. Just about fried out. I'm going on hour four here. Sweet. All right, have a good one, man.
Who sleeps sideways like that anyway? I guess we can't wait for you. What are we supposed to do? Some of the column. Free.
everybody hiding behind the princess.
had him as the arm for a bit. Okay. <laughs> said something about that. About. <clears throat> I was like, I'm going to be streaming a lot this week. Like, cool, because I'll be recovering from surgery. Yeah, that's... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fight this boss and then wrap it up.
First try. Lucas, where have the fuck have you been? You want you want some of this now? You want some of this now? We got freaking baby dragos and adult dragos. Oh shit! Fuck them up. <laughs> yes. I live for cutscenes. Squash that tank. Dragos are on our side now. They killed my mom. I heard that you did nothing but cry since the day your mother passed away. something like this. And that's everything. <laughs> Love that cut. Classic. seeing you. Is that chapter three? We completed two chapters today. How about it? We're on chapter four and that's going to be like the halfway point of the game. Oh, 
want to finish it, I guess. Tesmin Village now transforming exactly how the new newly come peddler had planned. Only a handful of villagers realize that things that were good and right are being tossed away one after the other. Although prosperity is increasing, an eerie darkness seems to be growing heavier in the village at the same time. However, within that darkness, a frail young boy grows even ever stronger. Soon, Lucas will repaint this tale of sadness with a bright new color. The deeper the darkness, the brighter the sunrise at dawn. The once coddled Lucas is now on his way to becoming a brilliant young son. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Will Lucas find the dumbass? Yes, bro. Chapter 3 End. And we're going to save that down here, too. Chapter 3 End. All right. Just one more time because I feel like it. We'll see this cutscene. And then we'll we'll cut it off. Beautiful chapter four, Club Kitty Boo. Don't even want to know. play much more before we see any more of this cutscene I'm gonna end this stream cuz uh, I intend to uh, pick this game up next time with this cutscene starting us off you know I just want to see it in full in case I don't get to again Okay, now I'm just gonna just gonna reset the GameCube. Make sure that you know that save file is there. That would suck if it wasn't. I'm not doing this again, guys. Yeesh. Chapter 3 in, Chapter 3 in. And so if we start one of those, it will cut us into that cutscene perfect. So, that's all. Thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks for stopping by. We'll be back uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. Probably Friday for sure. In the stream made it all the way we're gonna be starting chapter 4 next time we do this game I might not do this game next time but 
we might keep going till we go.